the start. It's the oh, oh where's I the guess. intro? Uh oh, ba 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 ba. Top ah. turn. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, it just played the. Uh, just went- We're back again. Uh, it's a top uh, ten. Uh, it's all uh, over uh, again. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So there's no intro? There was one. All right. Was. Just like your favorite app, you need to re, you know, like uh, do an update. <laughs> Did we crash? <laughs> no, we didn't crash. <laughs> what are you doing? All right. Well, you, Chris Chris is on uh, vacation right now, so uh, everything is falling apart. Yeah. Well, there it, it makes works. sense. Chris Chris puts together a lot of our things. Intros. Is this it? It was in there. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Let me see. Anyway, folks. Trust me, folks. You're, this is going to be worth it. It's going to be spent, worth it. He spent yeah. hours. Do it. Yeah. Oh, we're going to watch it. Oh. You can commentate on the intro. No. Oh, here we go. Skip the minute here. There we here go. We go. Okay. There we go. go. All right. This is great. Now you're in the corner. Yeah, we're good. We're right there. We're good. We're, we're with you, everybody. Okay. okay. What kind of top 10 list? What kind? Top 10 list. Oh, here we go. This is sus. I still have never played that game. This whole intro is sus. Mike. That's me! That's me! That's me! That was so worth it, Tom. <laughs> that was so <laughs> worth it. Hey, everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Ah, ah, I'm Mike Delicio. And we're trying to give you the glitchy feeling of an app. <laughs> That's correct. Some apps aren't very stable. <laughs> yes. But today, we're going to be focusing on the good and not the bad. One could even say we got the bad out of the way. We got the bad. We, we got the, the bad. bad. We got, got the, the bad. bad. Copyright strike. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's been a week, folks. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're talking about 10 games that with the best apps for games. And so for me, just as a, I have one of mine from the computer, mm-hmm. but of the rest are actually from iOS. That's just what I use. Most of these are crossovers in many, actually one of mine works on iOS and the computer. And other, a lot of these cross over in other systems too. Is it a Mario game? Because that's not an app for a board game. I have some that are the same, uh, that are both. uh, But I think all of them now are available on iOS. I think a couple of them started on Steam, and as soon as it came out on iOS, I jumped to that because I prefer playing on a tablet. Everybody knows what you're talking about. There's just one that is like particularly good. Okay, but the the one, the one that we're, the one thing that I'm not doing, and I'm assuming you guys didn't do it either. We're not talking about Tabletop Simulator, Board Game Arena, Tabletop. What's the other one? Tabletop. It's a, it's a competitor of Tabletop Simulator. Oh, Tabletopia. Tabletopia. Yeah, right. yeah. Again, those are those are not actual apps. Those are like implementations of a game. Right. Those are basically lawnmower man modules. <laughs> that's are, not what I've said. <laughs> they're a little close to Steam. I think that's we're, we're, that's the one where we're like right on the edge there. No, but if you play a game on Steam, you're playing an app on your computer just you using are. the Steam, and you pull up that game, there's an yeah. intro for the game right, right. and everything. I will say this. I chose, because I was thinking, how do I want to do, you know, pick the ones I'm going to pick. And so what I wrote down were a couple of notes. I chose, uh, I think, apps that to me take full advantage of being digital. And and by that I mean either they've got some kind of cool animation that draws Mm -hmm. me into it. Mm -hmm. You know, something that, that, you know, you can appreciate that it's an app. Something that removes some of the bookkeeping that can be involved, which is is nice. That's a big one. And games that have a lot of setup and teardown that you don't have to worry about it with the Mm -hmm. app. So those are kind of the things I thought about a little bit. Yeah, I did that too. Some of them are on here because I really do like the app more Mm -hmm. than I like the game. Yeah. And some are just a very good approximation of what that game feels like. And again, the ease of play, the implementation, the look is certainly a factor. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, how well it works, how well it does its job, which is to present as as good a version of that board game as possible. Mm-hmm. I That's also, why some of these are in here. Yeah. yeah. I also only picked apps. And I saw someone who's saying some things are computer games, whatever. What do you think an app is? It's a computer game on your phone. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, I only picked ones that have a board game equivalent. So yes. I did not pick, uh, what's the deck building game? Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire. I love Slay the Spire, mm-hmm. but it's it's its own thing. Right. And there's a lot of things like that out there that only exist yes. in app form. All mine have a corresponding Hearthstone. board game. Hearthstone is another good example. Mm-hmm. So you didn't put Hearthstone on your list? I did not. If Hearthstone is on your list, it's an invalid list. I just want to put that out there right now. 
Roig, uh, you got any editing thing? Uh, you know? <laughs> Play the intro again. This, thing, this, this <laughs> right here, this is freaking me out. I just got to put a... Sorry. That is freaking me out, Why? It's, it's a virtual cup. It's not real. <laughs> if you look in there, there's a, an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me today? Let's, let's get started here. Well, number 10. Number 10. All right, my number 10, I went with kind of an older app that I think still holds up well today um, because I think apps have gotten a lot better Pong. as the years have gone on. Oh, why didn't I not think of that? Because you forgot it. Boop, boop. Um, no, my number 10 is Ticket to Ride. Uh, this was one of the first apps that I, uh, board game as apps that I was like, this really works. I mean, this is- earlier Yeah, one, right? it was really early and it still, I think, holds up. It I started as Computer only, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You go to their website, you get that code yep. inside Ticket to Ride. Remember that? I never played it that way. I only ever played it on, on actually, I played it on my phone first, and then I went to a tablet, which is a oh. much better way to play it. I played it on I a had, flip phone. I had much younger eyes then, oh, no, I, can tell you, I can tell you that. But, you know, Ticket to Ride is a classic both game, and I think you can call this a classic app. It's still yeah. They still support it. You know what I mean? A lot of the old apps aren't supported anymore. They added some DLC to this, so you could get, I wish they had put more DLC. I'd love There's for them so to. so many maps. And right. They, they're not all on there. Yeah, yet. which I think would be great. That's the one downside to it. But uh, this is the, the probably the first app that I played as a you know board game as app that I was like, this is what this can be. You know? Right. So right. that's why it's at my number 10. I don't think uh, there's going to be a lot of arguing on this list. And I think there's going to be a decent amount of crossover. We'll might see. be. Yeah, yeah. So, not yep. really going to help it. My number 10. Actually, I think we'll have more crossover than you. Either one. Maybe. Because yeah. I think you've played more than us. You play every Monday. Mm-hmm. What's happening? Uh, <laughs> and sing the song. Come on. Plug. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> he said, "What's oh. happening? You gotta." Oh, oh now see, I've got the I've got the wrong song on here. We listened to the "What's Happening" theme song before here, and then Z said, "Let's listen to Sanford and Son," and that's all that's going through. That's it. There we go. I also haven't played some of the big hitters that I know you guys like, and I bet will be on your lists. Okay. You're anyway, making a my, lot of assumptions, sir. I want to just put that out there. You're making a lot of assumptions. There are two games I can guarantee you are going to be on your list. Okay. I'll write them down, even. Well, can you do your number 10 first and then write them down? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my number 10 is the only game on this list that I would say I don't, I don't want to play physical mm. edition. But I think the app does such a great job of highlighting... That the game could be good if all this insane upkeep wasn't in the way. Okay. That it makes it onto the list for that alone. It's a really well implemented app. I'm trying to guess what I is just, that? I'm trying to think. I will not sit down and play this with you. The app, happy to. Wonderfully done. Railroad Inc. Oh, okay. Railroad Inc. Okay, okay. Does a great job mm -hmm. of taking. What you are doing in that game, which is rolling four, maybe six dice, and mm. using them all without being able to manipulate them because everybody's using the same dice. Right. And then maybe unlocking bonus dice, where you duplicate one of those. And then also, on your turn, you can use one of these faces that you begin with as a bank. Mm. You can spend one... No! No! But the app makes it really easy. Mm. I touch it. I drag it in here. I can rotate it and see. That's like, better than my drawing of yes, these. Yes, that is also true. Yeah, hundred percent. All of that is also a big deal. It keeps track of the scoring for you. It lets you mm. know what's going on. I think this app is great. And again, for me, blows away the physical edition. Mm. That's not true for a lot of these. Yeah, I'm gonna I think they're good alternates. This one, hundred percent. I'm going to have to try this one out because I, I don't yeah. like Railroad Inc. I found it so fiddly and messy as a I game. I think you will like this yeah. app. I, I feel the same way. Yeah, I played it I played it once as an app, and I was really impressed. So I need yeah. to play it again. Very well implemented. So mm -hmm. Railroad Inc., a roll and write, but you know, without your ugly writing all over your board, you got to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Go take some art classes or play my number 10, Railroad mm -hmm. Inc. I think deck building games translate really well to apps because you don't have to shuffle. Mm -hmm. um, also, you don't have to you don't have to count the actions. Yeah. I'm still waiting for Dominion! Actually, is it out yet? I don't know. It's, it's in, in beta. beta so long yeah. and I'm, I'm very much a I'll wait till it's out of beta kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Wait, Dominion's not out? It's been, it's been released and then 
pulled off like three different times, but this is the most There's recent also one. been some very poor versions oh, of it yeah, that terrible, came out. Terrible. I used to play this like on some weird server with just text for a while. I can't remember what that was called. Anyway, yeah, yeah, Dominion yeah, yeah. is not my number 10. My number 10 is oh. Mystic Veil. Mm. This is a deck builder and card crafter. I have not played this. And I not. think this one... Again, I, I like Mystic Veil in person because it's neat to slide the cards together, but you got to slide them in. There's yeah. a few minor things like, hey, if you pick the card up, you know how fat it is. <laughs> you know, you can kind of ignore that, but man, this app just, and it's nicely done. <laughs> Almost all the apps on my list are nicely done. One, The one app that dropped off, my number 11, dropped off because it's so old that I was like, eh, it just yeah. it feels a little creaky. But I like Mystic Veil. It's themeless. You shuffle a lot. There's a lot of moving cards around right. in it. That's all done with the app. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. I like it a lot. So my number 10, Mystic mm, Veil. That's a good one. Number nine is um, an implementation that I don't even know. I, number nine is terraforming Mars. So this is this one. I was I was I had this big grand thing that I that I decided to scrap. Yeah, uh, I just think it's a good it's a good implementation of the game. And what it does do is it. This is the one that feels. I guess what I'm trying to say is it feels most like a video game, but it's a board game. You see, what, in in the actual implementation of it, you know what I mean. Like they really leaned into the the graphics and everything else like that. Like you feel like you're playing a civilization. You feel like you're playing a almost. Civ game. Yeah, like the. It's, the music it, helps in that regard. Yeah, like it's XCOM without the aliens. Something along those lines. It's like, you know, because the game is really fundamentally a card game, right? The, the the actual game is more of a card game. And you're definitely, obviously, doing that here. But it just, for some reason, the way it's implemented and, and with all of the, you know, the bells and whistles, it feels more, like you said, like a like you're playing Siv Meyer or Sid Meier Siv in a way, almost, but with card-driven. So, um this is, uh, you know, a one that I, I would be more likely to play this than the physical version. I'll still play physical, um, but but it's, you know, a table hog, and it's lengthy, mm -hmm. and this is so much quicker to knock out a game, you know, of this. It also makes drafting more viable. Yeah, it does. Um, because it really does. Well, again, you're not moving cards yeah. around and right, paying right, it. It's right. all automatic, and mm -hmm. that, that okay. doesn't hurt. Yeah. Terraforming Mars, my number nine. That's a good one, too. I mm. didn't put it on my list, but it is a good one. Tom, you were mentioning creaky apps, and I think my number nine does uh, make it onto my uh, list here at number nine because I like the game so much, and I do like the app very, very much, but it is a little creaky, and some of the updates have hurt it oh, instead of helping. I know exactly what this is. This is Pandemic. Mm-hmm. The old, app, the old version was so much Pandemic better. Pandemic used to be better. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah, than it is right now, mm -hmm. okay? Having said that, it's still a wonderful, engaging game uh, that is a lot easier to set up without having to obviously shuffle up the deck, stack the deck. You're sort of weaving the deck and the bad stuff throughout it, putting all the cubes out. This is going to get you going very quickly, and you can just knock out a game. That's true for many of these. In this one, you really do feel that. And can yes, you play it solo? You can play 100%. it solo, yeah. yeah. Interesting. You can run all the characters and play it solo. You can also have, I think, AI characters. Uh, I never do that. If it is a thing, I never do it. I just run a couple of characters. Tiffany I used to play this legacy them obsessively. The, the first one. I don't, mm -hmm. the you other take, two, I if you, if you're playing too. on the iPad... Just take a Sharpie and you right. can do that. Yeah, yeah, just put stickers all over here. I named this city, but now that's also my wife's name when I pull up Facebook. Mm. Yeah, that happens, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, Pandemic, classic game, classic co-op game. Not quite as old as Ticket to Ride, Yeah, but it's been around for a while. It suffered a little bit. I still would recommend it. It's very good stuff. My number nine. That's right. Someone mentioned in comments, I forgot, they pulled this one off the App Store, didn't they? Because oh, they're they? re-uploading a new version. They need because of the go back to the way it used to be. It used to be so much better. Whole pandemic is amazing. I mm -hmm. forgot that they pulled that off. Therefore, your list, once again, invalid. In wait, wait till I get to some of the ones that aren't <laughs> My number three, Super Mario Maker. <laughs> right. My number... My, my number two is Instagram. <laughs> oh! I don't know, that's not even funny. My number nine is our first crossover already. Wow. With right. Mike, not with me. <laughs> Definitely yeah. with Mike. Because I haven't played either year two. Yours that's is going right. to be Ticket to Ride. It's Ticket to Ride. Yeah. And, yeah. and the reason it's nine is because, again, yeah, it's, it's, older. it's older. But, man, you can play this with... on. It started on a computer. It's the first board game I think I played 
simultaneously mm. against a, another human right. opponent. I think yep. that's true for me, too. It was the yep. first time I ever did that, too. You can even play this with A-L-E-X-A. Yeah, I was going to get to that point. Yeah. I was going to whisper it, but yes. <laughs> um, but the iPad version is glorious. It is it's great. one of the few that if when Z and me used to travel, it was just the two of us, I'd be like, hey, let's play Ticket to Ride. And we can true. pass it back and forth. It, I don't like the whole pass and play thing normally. Mm-hmm. I don't know yeah, why. Generally. It just feels like, ah. But it works with Ticket to Ride. It I does. like it. I like this one a lot. And I like, in the beginning, it was like, wow, you can play a couple extra maps. Like he said, it's like, come on now. You know, you've had years. Right. Give us some more maps. But there's a decent amount in there. Yeah, yeah. There, there um, are. I, I, God, and I just, just wish that, do more. I'm telling you, the, the cards flying across the board, There's it's a... That animation, it's very old. It's still satisfying. It is. That, the, the, the sound the, effect. The, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. I still can, like, yeah. That sound makes me feel like a dog in some sort of. When your turn's over, it's a, Pavlo- Pavlo- it's a Pavlovian response. It's a Pavlo- Pavlovian response for oh, me. Oh, yeah. nice. Do you yeah. actually drool? I mean, it literally makes you drool when you hear it? No, it's not the same as the dog. Oh. It makes me smile. <laughs> oh. When I smile, I do drool a little bit sometimes. <laughs> What happens if I say Delicio? <laughs> that okay, let's move on. I'm just imagining the Homer Simpson, yeah. All right, my number eight is uh, another one that's a bit older, and um, but it's still held up. This is a game that I think really fundamentally works well as an app because it's a puzzle type game and that is Sagrada. Um, in Sagrada you're basically making these patterns with dice that are representing you know stained glass windows and this is one I still like to play the physical version because it's so beautiful but this one also has some really nice solo challenges like you can play almost like a campaign in the app where it kind of changes things up. Is that what the app looks like? I, that's the way I think that's the way it looks when it's in portrait um, oh, this one looks. I don't. I almost never want to play an app on the phone. Right, right, but right. This one looks like it might work on the phone. It would absolutely. It, I have played it on the phone. Yeah, it, it absolutely works on the phone. Because I'm a big iPad snob. I, I yeah. have a hard time playing anything on a small screen. I, I want to play I on do a bigger too, especially one. with my eyes. But um, yeah, this one is a, a really good implementation. And and again, this feels almost like an app when you're playing it. If you think about it, right? I mean, it, it's just a puzzle game, you know. And, and it mm-hmm. has you know the kind of bright colors and works very well. I think as an app and. There we go. My number oh, I can't eight. wait to play Sagrada, the card game based on the app that's based on the board game. Yeah, we need to get there. We need to get there. Mm, I'm in. Yeah, but I went through that whole kind of campaign that they added. It's really good. It really? just gives you different scenarios and things to change things I, up. I know I've played it. I don't think I've done the little campaign. Yeah, it's good. All right, my number eight is only at number eight, not because of the quality of the game or even the implementation, really. It's, uh, it's hard to look at everything I want to be looking at at the same time in this one. Mm. So there's a lot of switching screens that, that dropped it a bit for me. We're talking about Wingspan here. Ah. Big. The people are happy. Wingspan yeah. has been mentioned. Big mm. fancy game. Uh, very nice animations and mm. sound effects in this. It is immersive. I just want to... Because there's in so much information, I'm talking about on an, on an iPad here, mind you. I don't think this is playable on a phone screen. That that sounds too ambitious. But having to sweet, switch to all the different um, areas of the board, or the, the various places where you could be looking mm. on the table, makes it less than ideal for me. But having said that, playing yeah. on it is super fun. Animation's great, sound effects are great. It really fits that vibe of soothing nature feel. Right. Uh, played this one live. What's happening? Uh, check that show out. Mondays. It's in your head, I can see it. I can see it the is. notes banging around in his head. Anyway, my number eight, Wingspan. All right, well, we're back to deck builders for me. I just, wow. They just work really well. Um, this is not the last one either. Uh, this one is Shards of Infinity. Ooh. Now, Shards of Infinity is a game I like a lot um, in I didn't person. They have an app for this. They, they do. Yeah, because you, you did a, an app review of this, I believe. I believe I played it when I did What's Happening, mm-hmm. I think. You used to do What's Happening? I did, and then it was Hostile Takeover. Yeah, that's right. That's my number seven, Hostile <laughs> <laughs> I, Again, there's a lot of different 
numerication happening with the when you play the cards and you're getting points and other things yeah. upgrade. I mean, sometimes a card works if you have a level that I sometimes I forget in the actual game to, to up my level. It just does it all. Yeah. Has nice animations. Uh, this one would actually be higher if it had like five or six expansions. Mm. Um, as it is, there's just a few. Yeah. And that's good, but it doesn't go higher on the list because I want one of the things I like about an app is if there's a ton of stuff, right. I can be like, this expansion, this expansion, this expansion. I'll play these three today. Yeah. I like that variety. That's yeah. kind of a setup for one that's coming up later. But my number eight, Shards Ooh. of Infinity. Hmm. My number seven was the app that was the biggest surprise to me because when I heard it was coming out as a digital implementation, I thought there's no way this is going to work because it's a legacy game mm -hmm. and there's a lot going on. My number seven is Charterstone. This is a really, really good implementation of a game that has a lot of moving parts. And again, with it being a legacy, you know, there are things that can change and things you can name. Actually, it's a campaign it's game a campaign, yeah. in the app form, That's correct. for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but it's, it's just a really, really well done implementation of, again, a game that I didn't think would work as What's an the app. company who made this one? I, I think it's Akram. Akram. Akram? Yeah, yeah. They do, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right they they do, do really, really good, good apps. They do really they, good And stuff. I noticed this because they made this really good one, and then... They came out with Vidi Culture, and I was like, yeah. "Yes, I love Vidi Culture." But Akram didn't do Vidi Culture, it. and it shows. It's not, it's not on my nearly list. Nearly as good. <laughs> they're I can tell you that. Good. They're when you have a good company making your apps, don't change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're one of my favorite companies for apps. So right, they're on my list for sure. Yeah, no, this is a terrific implementation of a game that I think uh, actually doesn't get as much credit as it should, just as a game. I like Charterstone as a game, but I really like it as an app as well. So yeah. I was surprised, so surprised it worked as well as it does. All right, my number seven is one that really leans into the video game aspect of apps by looking like a video game in many ways, mm. and that is Tokaido. Oh. Tokaido is a game that I would say I like the app more than I like the game. Mm. I enjoy Tokaido just fine. I think the app and what it does and how it does it is stunningly beautiful. It has this lovely minimalistic animated path you run down the path wherever you touch. Your character literally will walk. Wow, I, mean, I want to play this just based on that look uh, right there. Have you not played Tokaido on the I app? Have I feel like you have. Uh, I don't think I have. Oh, it's very nice. So you get there, you interact with the shopkeeper, or you go to the hot springs, or mm -hmm. what have you. But everything sort of removes the interface in many ways right. of a board game and presents it as a video game. Mm-hmm. It really works for this one because that look is so distinct and gentle and frail in some ways. And so you play this and it just, I find it very soothing. It's a soothing, gentle yeah. game. The music and the look, is all, it's all going to work together to put you somewhere else. Right. This one does a fantastic job at doing that. So number seven for me, Tokaido. Hmm. Check it out if you're looking for an app for a board game. It feels different than a lot of the ones out there. They just sort of present icons and places to click and yeah, do, yeah. And, you know, this is not that. That's true. All right, my number seven is on the list. I like the game, um, but the presentation for it is amazing. And some of the best animation, I think, in an app, although there is a better one coming up. But it just, I play it and it just delightful is the thing for it. And But I also like the game a lot, and that's Raiders of the North Sea. Mm. Raiders of the North Sea just looks, sounds... I mean, you told me, Mike Mike was like, you're going to really like this app, it's amazing. And I was kind of like, Mwah. you know, because I hate when people build me up, you know, because then you, you yeah. think it's it's better than Mike said. Yeah. It's really well done. I haven't yeah. played this one yet. Oh, oh you got to do this on what's happening. You yeah. will like it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, right. I think I think even if you don't like the game, you just like seeing the guys attack a, a, a Ford or whatever. Done. You know so. how some apps just feel buttery smooth, just like everything works the way you think it should. It's just yeah. Isn't this that same company? It might be that did the charter stuff. Or no, no, it might be Direwolf. I don't know. Oh no, it is Direwolf. Right. Yeah, yeah they're all. Those two, I they're think, are the top over. two when it comes to making apps. Direwolf mm -hmm. and Akram. Yeah. Yeah. That's, man, I I like this game a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they did any of the any of the other Garfield games have been done at all. I don't think so. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> Come on, Shaq, too get soon. On that. 
too Get soon. That. This yeah. is Raiders. I wonder, I wonder why, though, actually. I don't know, and I also don't know why they haven't put the expansions on this. You know what? And that's the thing. I'll never play this game without the expansions. Yeah. I'll play the app. But when I'm playing the yeah. app, I'm like, well, I don't care. It's I'll that much fun. I'll play the app base game, but you're I'm If with this you. had the expansions, it would be higher on my list, I think. This is Raiders, right? Raiders yes. of the North Sea, yeah. Writing just, it down. Just look for a guy with that face. There you go. I'm, I'm writing Micho. it down. Ah! My number six is another older one. I'm, I'm as I was compiling this list, I was like, "Am I picking too many old ones?" But I'm like, "No, no you I mean, are old. You keep uh, me too. I'm old too." I'm just saying we are old. I'm just yes, saying that, especially are, with yes. with a with a topic like this, where you're talking about technology, oftentimes it makes more sense to lean towards the newer ones because things get better. But the, the, a lot of these older ones are still holding up, and this yeah. is uh, holding up. This is Lords of Waterdeep. Uh, this is another game that I think does a really nice job implementation-wise. Now, I did happen to see someone in the chat without prompting say that this has also changed, but I'm. If there's a different version, I'm not familiar with it. I've played the, the one I have is still the original version that Probably looks yeah, like the like, app symbol doesn't even have its corners rounded, so that's already a thing. Yeah, well, yeah, there you go. But this is yeah a really good implementation of a really good uh, basic worker placement game, and this is another one that um, I played pretty early on and was so impressed with how hmm. well they implemented this game. Just everything works super smooth. You can play it very quickly. You don't have to mess with any of the setup or any of that. I uh, really, really like Lords of Waterdeep. And it works well as an app. Really well. You look skeptical. I don't think I've played it. I'm ah. trying to remember if I've played it. I'm not a big Waterdeep fan. I was trying to think of graphical fan. upgrades mm -hmm. they could do. To, they change those cubes a little dudes. Yeah, well. I wouldn't mind that, I think. Yeah, I don't to know. To be I, fair, new is, like you were saying, the, the new ones tend to get better. Yeah. Boy, I've played some new ones that are just... Have that really dated, clunky look. Right, that's true too. I can play one that will not be on my list. Fury of Dracula. Oof, is a pretty new app, one of the mm. newest I've featured, and it is just not a looker. It's a good yeah. game, not a looker. Yeah. All right, my number six is a crossover with Mike Delicio. Oh. Everyone loves Michael, and that is, is. Charter I think, Stone. I Good. I didn't know you had played this. Okay. Oh, I've, I've played it. Wait right. a minute. I I don't remember you loving actual Charterstone. I like Charterstone. I just didn't like playing it with you. You're in the app. <laughs> when I'm playing the app, I don't have to you play with Tom Vassal. And honestly, that's the mm -hmm. best thing I can say about it. Actually, Akram's great and everything, yeah. but you can play this app without having to play with Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Although, one of the maps of this app is based on that that's Fortnite That's true, build. actually. They did. They put so your So you're playing with me anyway? <laughs> Oh, I forgot no. about that. Anyway, no, like you said, it's it does a really good job of taking something that might be hard to get into, something that might, you might find intimidating with mm -hmm. the stickers and the legacy thing, and treat it like a... It's not weird when a video game is persistent. Yeah. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. No one finds that outside the norm. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that you things build from game to game and mm -hmm. when you come back to it they're built mm -hmm. it's suddenly just normal it right. just seems like okay sure yeah so yeah. i really like that about it that, that it sort of it almost bridges that gap if you are a video gamer first yeah and you want to mess with board games here's one you could try that's going to look really pretty it's going to have a lot of moving parts yeah, you might yeah. want to be one of those gamers who's into like civ not like you know kirby Right. Um, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna sort of form a nice bridge between those two things. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my number six, Charter Stone. Very, also, Tom's number. I'm confused. Six. I'm, I'm very intrigued what your six is gonna be because did you notice what he was doing during your? He's doing list? some sort He's of. He's doing a lot of this. He's doing this. No, because I missed an app on my list here. Um, that and I have the I. Okay, so my number six is actually my number 12, probably. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, what a show my number six is, and that's Twilight Struggle. How do you mean number 12, man? Because I I had two apps I was thinking, I'll, okay, let me talk about Twilight Struggle, <laughs> then I'll talk about the app that should be here in a second. Um, so Twilight Struggle, I like the fact, I'm just glad this app exists. Right. I know it's a stupid reason to have it on the list, no. but Twilight Struggle is a lot of work to play, and it's yeah. hard to find opponents. That's true. Okay. It is. Okay. So true. now I can play it by itself. Yay! This is the only way I've played Twilight Struggle. Is on the app. I've never played the well, physical nah, you version. Play it. 
Okay. I'll get crushed, but yeah, I'll but play. What I meant to put on the list, because they're both historical games, even though they're, was Through the Ages. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Through the Ages fans. That's my real number six. That's supposed um, to be a great implementation. I haven't really played it. It really is. I haven't played Through it. Through the Ages is at the point where I don't think I would ever play the board game again. Mm. Or... It, well, you have to play with other people by yourself, and there's scenarios that you can and play I've heard through. it takes a game that could last, last quite a while yeah. and, and gives it to you in a nice blast. I can play it like in 30 minutes that's, sometimes. That's, that's amazing. Wow, that's so, good. through the ages, or Twilight Struggle, <laughs> you take your pick. There we go. I, I'm hitting history all over the place. That's fantastic. Tom Vassell hitting history. We're already halfway! This is outrageous. Let's slow it down. Slow it way down. My number five oh, is oh, a oh. crossover with me. Yeah. Why am I never in these crossovers? You suck. You've already uh, said uh, a whole lot about it, so I won't uh, say too much more. My number five is Tokaido. It's a, it's a Bam, beautiful Tom, implementation. Beautiful imitation of a beautiful game, and I do like Tokaido the game probably more than you do. You do, you do. Um, but 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 it's really nice to have a game that just its, ref it's beauty is reflected so well. Yeah, I think you you said everything you need to say. I agree with everything you said, so I don't even have to repeat. Really good app. My you gotta, number five, Tokaido. You, you got to try this one. Yeah, Tom. it's really. Good. I might. I like. I'm really intrigued by that that little thumbnail there. The guy yeah. with the the. He's one of the characters. Now, this is another one I would say, I, we keep beating the drum on this. Put the expansions in there. Put in Crossroads. Put in Mats you know, the Matsuri one. I mean, why not? To not be good. fair, I do think a lot, and this is and from someone who's owned the expansions, mm -hmm. I do think the expansions in Tokaido sometimes work against the spirit of Tokaido. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I mean, it's so, a little less zen in that way. Yeah, and there's a bunch of now, like, secondary rules when the game is supposed to be about... Jump ahead, mm -hmm. Do feed the fishies, yeah. or take a bath, or like buy a meal. Mm -hmm. I'm always buying a meal. You're forced to in this game. You have to this buy the meal. Forces so, you to eat. Must so, buy a meal. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of. I not that well, you I disagree. You can play without them, sure. Yeah. But I don't want people out there to have choices that I don't want. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> okay. Fair. <laughs> that that seems selfless of you. Mm -hmm. Where are we at? I'm My glad number to know five. You. <laughs> number five. My number five is a very simple little card game, but the app does a nice amount to liven it up, to give you sparks and whizzies and. <laughs> this is the Fox in the Forest. Oh. The Fox in the Forest is a, a card game for two players, a trick taking card game. Look at that icon. For that two fox players. Is so cocky. Yeah, it's like he super knows. condescending. He's like, mm. like, yeah, thanks for buying the app. Nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> A big spender. <laughs> Got it on sale, did you? <laughs> um, yeah, in this one, you are just one player is leading. The other one follows suit. You're trying to win a certain number of tricks. Not too many, not too few. Mm. Um, you know, you're trying to sort of thread the needle there. Very simple game. Very yeah. tiny little game. It's not one that I would say is a good replacement for the game if you are treating apps as a space conservation move or a travel you know aid mm. oh i can take through the ages in my ipad this is tiny it's just well implemented and i've really enjoyed playing it i've featured it like i said on what's happening it's just a pleasure to play you everything works the way you expect it to what what little is there is beautiful well animated pleasant this is a nice relaxing one as well so you can uh Get to Kaido, get the Fox in the Forest, have yourself a chill evening with a couple of board game apps. Mm. My number five. Smug, smug fox. My number five is probably the one the app I played the most out of all of these. But if I'm on an airplane, I'll crank this one out. And uh, I Final Fantasy Tactics. <laughs> no. That's a great one. Skyrim. But I, I will sometimes sit like I'll have a like I don't know, like four or five weeks ago I had a, sp a spat of like four or five nights where I was like, I'm going to play some of this, and I kept playing it over and over again. And the game is Ascension. Oh. Because it's... This deck is, builder, man. You're a deck building fiend. I, this is... I know, right? Ascension's another one where I'm like, why play the game? This is another really and old app, too. It's an old app, but, oh, oh. They, but they keep it up, and they keep adding... Yeah. Every expansion for Ascension it's gets amazing. added in. That's amazing. With all its rules to the point where... 
I, when I first did it, I, I mentioned I played it four or five weeks ago. I pulled up and I'm like, I'm playing with everything. And after the game was over, I was like, I was just kidding. <laughs> and, yeah. then, and then it that took me a while because I, I had to go through and I was like, I don't want to play with that mechanism. I don't want to play that one. Which expansion was that in? So I, I messed with it for a while. Then I found I was playing with like six expansions. I'm like, I like this combo. Mm. And you can play with the promo cards in it. That's pretty cool. And it plays, I like when they do. But it just nice. plays so smoothly. It does. I played just, a ton of this back in the day. Me mm -hmm. and Moron. Who is my, the name of my computer opponent I play against in this? Mm -hmm. I originally named it after someone in my family, and I was like, nah, just call it Moron. Yeah. Um, but I, we, I play Moron a lot, and it's a lot of fun. I just sit there and I play. You know, when this first came out, it came out at about the same time that, that Nightfall came out. Mm -hmm. And I used to play both of them. But. This like, did Nightfall had an app? Absolutely. Yeah, it did, it yeah, app. yeah, I don't know if it still does, but it did. It was. I think the same developers did both. They came out around the same around time. Around the same yeah, time, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I just remember thinking, yeah, I think Ascension's a better game, and I think time has proven that to be the case. Ah, uh, I For me, I I'm so. not even trying to beat my opponent, because yeah. when you play this, you're playing so fast, I'm just trying to see how high of a score I can sure. get. What amazing combos. Mm -hmm. And I can't get that in the base game because, again... I had this deck of cards, and I'm not kidding. This is not an exaggeration. It was this high, and you can't say, you know what? I'm going to take this set out and just <laughs> oh my <laughs> pull gosh. them out. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know, and so because it's not like Dominion where you pick ten cards. It's just right. play with everything. But here, it's so much fun. Yeah, that would be cool. It is really fun. I'd be like, oh, I've always wanted to try the the Path of Light and Shadow mixed with this, and mm -hmm. you can. Yeah, yeah, that's neat. No, this is a good one. This is a uh, on. Uh, Rock. Yes, no, I did not play like, Ascension you know. with your boss. <laughs> this one <laughs> it's is a computer opponent. Nice. Yeah, this is old reliable. Here. Yeah, it really is. No, yeah. I'm not saying... Okay, let me... This sounds bad. I'm not saying I renamed someone in my family Moron. I just thought it was weird after I was like, yes, as I crushed someone in my family. Yeah. So I just named the person Moron. <laughs> this is not an uncommon thing. There's a Moron character in almost every game I play. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. Captain Moron. I played with Admiral Moron. King mm -hmm. Moron. I've defeated it in games. I don't know, I just like playing against this guy. He loses a lot. But when he beats you, you feel... Yeah, right? You're like, I got beat oh, by a moron. I, Captain Moron beat me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a, I'm going down like this therapy path right what now. Let's going move on. on. What is going on? <laughs>
because Elder Sign omens mm -hmm. and Elder Sign were sort of different things. See, I didn't think so. I thought they, that they had just... like a thing where you would go through a museum. I, I mm. don't know. I oh, need to go right. back and check this out. Yeah, this I is just... the this is the dice driven game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my number four is one of Tom's favorite games of all time. And if you don't like shuffling, <laughs> oh, I know what this you is. You gotta get Oniram mm. or Onirim or Elder Signs Omens. That's I don't a care. Crossover. That's also my number four. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is a solitaire card game um, in which you are trying to line up these different b dreams or whatever these cards in order to get a sequence of number of uh, symbols and colors and open doors. I'll open all the doors before your deck runs out, you win the game. Um, they do have a couple of expansions in this one that they've added. Mm. Like three, I think. Of the, what, like, seven or so? There's like nine, oh, I geez. think. So I do wish that they would... One for every card. <laughs> I do wish they would keep yeah. adding them. That for a while, they were like, okay, here's one, and here's another two, and I was like, yes, finally. So you can't really replace the game yet yeah. with this. But if you don't care about that, you just want to try the game vanilla, or you can throw in a couple of expansions. This is a very good one. If you're not sure how to play, if you're terrible at reading uh, <laughs> rules and figuring out solitaire card games, or if you just don't like shuffling, because this game has a lot of shuffling. Mm -hmm. You know what? So we play games live, and occasionally people point out every <coughs> mistake we make, and it's really annoying. Mm -hmm. We all agree it's annoying. And yet, when you put someone on the other side of that thing, they forget that. Mm. They forget how annoying it is. Mm. They're cr critical. <laughs> Two years later! Mm. I made a mistake! I'm sorry! Mm. All right. Bring back um, the fox. <laughs> the fox is judging the you. Judging right? The judging fox of the forest. My number four is a crossover with Mike. That's right. Oh, I see how it is. Mm. I put an iron on the list, suddenly you can't cross over with me. I, I believe guess. that I'm not going to ever cross over with you, actually. <laughs> actually, no. This is a crossover with you, too. It's a first three-way crossover, oh. and that's Charter Stuff. Oh, wow. Ah, see, okay. I, had it, I had it higher up, so technically you're closer to me than Mike. That's true. I really thought I'd be the only one with this on my no. list. That's very surprising. I'll tell you what, because for me, the fun of Charterstone, and I I built a custom game of yeah. Charterstone. It's in the Dice Hour Library, and it's a solid good game. It is, yeah. And we've been talking about this lately, and I've been saying I think Charterstone would have been better to have not even been Legacy, but to have just been a game of modules. Yeah. However, in the app, I can play through it again and again and again. Right. That joy of discovering yep. still exists. Right. And yeah. you can play through like a campaign in a couple hours. Right. I mean, well, maybe not that yeah, maybe, short. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But it, still. And it feels good because it's also the way that Charterstone set up. When I come back into play, the game I was playing before, I don't have to go, oh, what happened? Yeah. Not just play. Yeah, you're just mm -hmm. going. You know, you just play with whatever the rules are at that point in time. And they don't change that dramatically. Right. Uh, yeah, just special power type stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun, and it's also, again, just beautiful, well mm -hmm. done. This company does a great app. So, yeah. Charter stuff. Nice stuff. My number three is Scythe. Have either of you played the Scythe app? Mm hmm. I played it on uh, Steam, but you okay. said that. You said that it was available on iOS, it's now and it's available the same thing, on, right? On an iPad, and it's the same thing. Yeah, and and so I heard a lot of good about this one. Yeah, they did a very, very good job with this implementation. Um, you know, one of my favorite games, but one of the issues with it is that I've got kind of the big box edition of Scythe, right? And it's a it's a process to yeah. get it out, to set it up, to figure out the faction combinations right. that we're going to be doing, all that kind of stuff. Now. I'm okay with that if it's like an event. Like, it's okay, we're going to sit down, we're going to play a four-player game aside, five-player game aside, and everyone kind of knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. We'll take the time. But if I just want to play a quick session of it, or I want to mess around with some weird faction combinations or things like that, I, this is a great way to do it. Because yeah. they did a very nice job of implementing it, doing all those things we talk about where it's like, hey, here are my options. If something's not even an option to you, it'll tell you. So you don't even have to think about it. It kind of lowers your mental load. Because mm -hmm. it's like, here are the things I can do that, on this I mean, tournament. apps, that's, what that's one of my at. favorite things about right. apps that's is you say, at. what can I do? Your choices are narrowed down. Correct. Right. Yeah, yeah. And they score for you and yep. they upkeep for you, all right. those things. Mm -hmm. When we and get the one, Apple glasses, 
That will be in them. Yeah. The guy will be like, what are my options? I'm like, put these on. <laughs> he puts them on. Right. <laughs> Yep, wow. and he'll still take ten minutes to pick his turn. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I do like that idea, though. The Board AP game. glasses, they're called. Mm. Board game glasses. Mm. BGG. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, I agree that Scythe is a very good one. I didn't put it on my list. Uh, for me, it suffered a little bit from the same thing that Wingspan suffered from. Moving around too much. It's just like they're like, "Here's your player board. Yeah. You you got it. You got it." Zzzz. Yeah, yeah. It's this little do sliver across it, the bottom, and yeah. it's like, mm, I don't, I don't remember what anything is. <laughs> yeah, <you gotta laughs> uh-huh. open. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. True. All right, my number three is Seven Wonders. Mm. Seven Wonders is one of the fastest apps to knock out a game in that I have ever played. Yeah, it's so it feels so good. Yeah, to fire this up, be dealt a monument. And knock out a game in a solid eight minutes. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. You draft, you move on, boom, boom. They do the same thing. Cards you can take, crossed out. Can you pay for this for free? Or you or you have the the leveling up chain? Right. It's highlighted as such. So you can just be like, bam, fine, taking it. They do combat for you, da, 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 and then you move on. There's three epochs in this, or epochs, if you want to pronounce it that way. But... It's just, it moves along at an incredible pace. Besides that, it's very well implemented. And in this one, they do some of that sort of shrinking yeah. down the information after you take it. But to be fair, in Seven Wonders, the only part that mattered was that banner at the top. Right. So after you take the card, the rest of the artwork goes away and they just they, they pin the banner at the top of your uh, screen there. It really works well. Mm-hmm. This I is have a, to give this one a whirl. I have not played this oh, one. It's a good. Yeah. It's a good yeah. app. This yeah. is fantastic. If you are just killing a few minutes, you can knock out a whole game of this. How do the opponents draft? They take a card and they pass the rest. I don't understand. Yeah, you do. Like how badly? How well? Yeah, like how? Do I they, think there's they, AI difficulties. I haven't noticed them doing anything particularly dumb. They don't hate draft. I don't, I don't think know so. if they hate draft. I mean, I do think that they're. I, gonna... I don't. I, hate draft's a strong word, but I'm saying in in Seven Wonders specifically, there comes a point in every game I've ever talked. I'm like, hey, maybe we shouldn't all let let Z right. get all the science cards. Well, no, Why it, not? It, they, it seems like I they need them. It seems like they do a good job of a going for the things that they need to implement their wonders, and b they're they're you know if they're working on science, they're going to continue to work on science. It seems like you know. I'll what I mean? tell you this: the best way I can put it is, I've never thought about it. Okay, yeah. no, that's a good answer then. Right. I've never been like, mm, whereas there are other games I 100% I'm like, yeah. no. That's a dumb Perfect move. draw right. again right. or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. The, the cheating, Come the on, cheating methodology. Come yeah. on, yeah. So I never even thought about it. I think it's great. My number three, Seven Wonders. I'm not even sure why I showed up since <laughs> Mike's doing all my games for me. Well, you know. My number three, another crossover with Mike, but much, much higher than him. That's because I like the game more, and that's Terraforming Mars. Uh, yeah, I knew that you'd have this on your I, own. And again, I and this is weird because I actually have a few small problems with the mm-hmm. game. It desperately needs a confirm button yeah. when you're putting on something on the oh, planet. It does. Oh, it does. Oh my word! Yeah, that's I, one of those things in in apps that yeah you, you gotta put in there a back button, a something. confirm button. Come I on. get why you can't take a move back sure. when you see things happen. That's right. fine. But if I'm and then this one, I'm like, where am I going to put it? And I press it, and I press the wrong spot on the planet, and it drops it there. I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. That being said, I still love the app. Yeah, yeah. Because it just makes Terraforming Mars, which I like a lot, it just brings it down. I want to play it over and over again. I mm-hmm. try different strategies. I'm like, I'll right. play with this corporation. I'll play with this one. Mm-hmm. And it's the first time I always wondered why they came out with more maps. I was like, who cares? Right, right. I'm not tired of this map. After a while, I was like, okay, I could use another map. Just choose a different <laughs> map know? here, yeah. Another map would be na- nice to see on this. But it works really well. I know they added Prelude. Mm-hmm. I don't believe they add the other stuff. I don't, I don't know that so. I care if they add the Not other stuff. Really, no. But between this and Ares Project, that's one of the reasons I don't play Terraforming Mars anymore. Because I, if I want to play with other humans, I'll play Ares Project. Or Ares Expedition, Expedition sorry. Yeah. Ares Expedition. And if I want to play this game, which I love playing, I'm like, well, I could play this. And... I've played this with human beings, and it's not bad. Yeah. Sure, yeah. 
it's, it's, it's another one I played against other people. This mm -hmm. is one of the first ones because we did this for the Virtual Con mm -hmm. in That's 2020. Right. We did. And it was a lot of fun. I think you were in that game mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I crushed all of you. I saw so. Ooh. Revisionist history, but all right. Mm. I have no idea, actually. I almost got away with it, too. <laughs> if it wasn't for that meddling history. Ooh. My number three, Terraforming Mark. My number two is a crossover. With me. With Tom Vassell. That's right. not me, though. Wait, which one here? Ticket to ride again. Oh, Raiders. Yeah, my number two is Raiders of the North oh, Sea. Yeah, You're the one who introduced why. this to me. I wonder yeah. why he He's my mentor. It. That's right. This uh, this is uh, just it's a fantastic... You old again, by uh, the way. Well that's, a, that's a nice way of saying old. Yeah, yeah very really. nice. It's nice, Gramps. Um, <laughs> my number two is, uh, yeah, Raiders. It's a great implementation of a great game. I Man, if they would put in the Hall of Heroes and the... And, you know, I just... Put those expansions in and it would be even better, but as it is, it's a fantastic Im implementation of a great game, and it is just so smooth. I mean, every, huh. like you said, everything works the way you feel like it should. I like the music, everything, I like the graphics. Right. Right, it's like, right. oh, what does this card do? You tap on it, whoop, it's right there. Everything is just intuitive. Um, you never have to guess, where do I have to find, where can I find this? How do I do this? It's all mm -hmm. really, really slick. Um, yeah. Beautifully done, beautifully done. My number two, Raiders of the North Sea. Okay, I'm going to jump on that one. You need then. to do it. My number two is one I uh, just played, I should say replayed, not so long ago on What's Happening. Mm. I could have gone with either one of these. I went with the second one, Forbidden Desert, oh. because I do think it is a better game. Uh, the, the implementation in Forbidden Island, the, the, the game that came before this, is also excellent. It's great, and it's also old. It's also old, but yeah. very sharp, yes. very good. Forbidden... Desert here, much like you were just saying about Raiders, manages to put all the information I might need at my fingertips. Mm -hmm. I know where to go to see what's going on. It lets me take back turns. It lets me use things in logical ways. And it doesn't go too nuts with the animation either. In this one, because there is a nice amount of sort of visual acuity I need to, to expend on it, mm -hmm. they only animate things that they need to animate. Like my little right. dude puts on a backpack and goes somewhere. That little pawn puts on a little backpack mm -hmm. and goes, shh, shh, shh. Mm. and I'm like, okay, I got what just happened. Right, right. I understand what that action meant. Mm -hmm. I take someone with me. I, they, we both fly over there. Great. But then everything else is chill. It, you know, right. it's not one of those. It's a whiz, bang, pow, for no good reason. This is a great game, light co-op game. That if you haven't played. I honestly would just recommend the app. He feels sorry for you. Stupid as it sounds, I love that I, that app icon too. That's a great, yeah, that's a great yeah. image for it's an icon. It's a good looking one, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. Forbidden Desert, great, great game. Forbidden Island's good too. Mm -hmm. I think the replayability isn't there as much. Forbidden Desert, fantastic. Yeah. My number two. All right, my number two, which last year was my number one, and is 99.9% .9 likely a crossover is Root. Root, ah, who's the company who made Root? Um, Direwolf. Direwolf. Talk about taking, if, if you had said what game could be an app, I would have argued against Root mm -hmm. because it's four different asymmetrical factions and yet this game, first of all, is one of the best theme music intros to an app ever. How it's, does it go? I don't know. How. <laughs> I don't know if that's true oh, that's or not. Game of Thrones. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, no, but it's really no, good music. I'll, I'll sit there and watch the opening. There's yeah. like these guys running, and I'm like, yeah, I like this song. <laughs> but it looks better than the game, and the game has great artwork. Yeah. It has a, a marvelous tutorial. Yeah. So if you don't know how to play Root, I'm like, look, just fork out the money, buy the app, right? Go through the tutorial. You'll know how to play all the factions. Fine. Mm -hmm. It's the it's just amazing. Yeah. My, the only reason it's not my number one is because the number one is even more amazing. Mm. But this is fantastic. And we'll hear more about it in just a bit. <laughs> All right. So uh, for my number one, yeah. uh, I didn't actually act uh, <laughs> run this past you, Tom. Uh, but I actually had a special guest come that's going to help me announce this. Um, 
I told them that you were going to take care of their travel and lodging expenses. My number one is Root. Of course it's Root. Yeah. <laughs> Root is a uh, really cute look. Yeah. It's yeah, cute, yeah. Tom. Why is this it's right. cute? It's adorable. Tom, uh, you, you, it's already, cute. you already said a lot of, of oh. what I said, but, but Root is, to me, so far and beyond better than every other app on my list, and, and I really like those. This, to me, is just... I'm very interested in what your number one is because I can't imagine a better app than this. We'll find out. They do a great job, and like I said, one of the like you said, the big thing is that it's so great to teach people how to play the game. I almost it really, <laughs> really is. I don't have that much money, but like if someone came to the table, yeah. like I don't need to run a room. I'm like there you go, here, son, go go, go, go buy go, the go, app and go yeah. learn it. It's uh, that good. It's I, so good, and the wow. and the animation and the art. I mean, because this is a, a great little world that that has been created, you know, both by the you know, developers and designers and the artists, and this just brings it to life. Hmm. Um, there, there's not one thing about this app that I'm like, I wish they had done that. I wish they'd done this instead. Not one thing. Maybe they'll make an Oath app. That would solve your problem. That would be amazing if they could do that. Maybe they would. Well, they if they can make if root. They can make root. They could I do. I really have faith in they them. They can't not. They can do anything. Tom, you just got me all geeked out now. If this imagine? doesn't happen, I'm really going to hold this against you. <laughs> I know. Top 10 predictions for 2023. Yeah. I've seen Oath a number of app. people, uh, and I, I, I don't think I'm taking anything from either of you, but I've seen a number of people bring up Spirit Island. I've not played the Spirit Island app yet, so I can't speak to that. Uh, it may be great, but but Root is by far Camilla's gonna come and die for me, yeah, Spirit Island! my number one app. Such a good one. My number one. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any idea what it might be? Yes. What is it? No, Shima Hex. No. Really? That's that didn't not... even make your top 10? No. It is number near No, no, it's not. Because it's not a very good app, I don't think. Yeah, it's okay. It's an okay it app. They also pulled that one you. down and reboot it. Ah. Uh, reboot it? Boo! Once again. What would it be? Boo! What does Z like to play on what's happening? This is not one I think you guys are going to guess, to be honest. It just happens to be a really good implementation of a game I like. A Euro game from Akram. They knocked it out of the park with their implementation of this. Lost Cities, one of the best. <laughs> Lost Cities is not bad. I played the heck out of that. Lost app, Cities is actually. terrible. You and I played it together. That was a terrible. I don't dislike that implementation. It's just it's old. very basic, but yeah, it, okay. it works. Anyway, I have no idea what this is. Istanbul. Oh, yeah, this is a really good app. Istanbul yeah. is fantastically mm. implemented. Mm -hmm. Another one that when you set up and play the physical game, might take a while, like yeah. all of these, they are all going to be faster in an app, sure. okay? That's obvious. It's how much time you gain that is very impressive. Yeah. And this one is really well implemented. Everything is clear, the movement, the setting up, where you have to normally shuffle these 20 tiles or yeah. whatever and make the board, nah. Ain't nobody mm. got time for that. <laughs> Fire this app up, done, mm. okay? Yeah, I really like it. I, uh, I was going to say Rudiger Dorn is one of my favorite. <laughs> I don't know the song's name. Uh, Istanbul is one of my favorite Euro-style games mm. of this type. And this app leaves nothing wanting for me. I, I, there's yeah. nothing I'm like, eh, but I wish this was different. What about expansions? Uh, there are no expansions in there, I think. I would say, is that something you wish, though? Is that one thing you wish? I'm nah. good. If you I'm like going to go all that... The game has a lot of replayability anyway. It does, because you can... Just just the placement of where those tiles are can make a yeah. huge difference in, you know... I think at that point, if I'm going that, that into it, mm -hmm. I'll set it up. Yeah, yeah. You know right. what I mean? At that point, it's like, yeah, let's play Istanbul with all the fixings. You don't want the virtual coffee, then. You don't need it. No, I don't mm. think I need it. This is a good... To, you know, it's a good one where you set it up and knock a game out and feel like you were racing to those gems. Yeah. And it manages oh. to feel like a race. Got it. Because it's so quick. I'm just sorry. It just sprung to my mind what Tom's number one is. Of course, of I'm course. really surprised. <laughs> I was like, it was so obvious, especially for a reason that we, we can talk about What in a is it? I don't know what it is. Okay, well, it's at the very beginning, I said that not everything was on iOS, although this is coming to iOS, That's they announced. Yeah, yeah. So it oh, oh, yeah, 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 it. Okay. My number it. one by a mile is Gloomhaven. Yeah, yeah. For, I forgot. Um, <laughs> he was just showing me. I was just me, showing it to He was just showing me the Jaws of the Lion DLC okay, so before we started. Gloomhaven was number one before they released the Jaws of the Lion stuff. Mm -hmm. Now it's higher than that. Mm -hmm. So like 0.2? Yeah, like 0.5. Mm. Man, mm. I'm telling you, no joke. I'll play Frost Haven when it comes out. Yeah. I'll never play Gloomhaven, the board game again. Even more ever. than Terraforming Mars, this is a game that now feels like it's a video game. 
right? Yeah, you know and I think I mean? some people will complain, like, oh, it's a video game. No, it's still a board game. You it still is. pick where stuff goes. Right. You play the cards. But it, it feels is, like it. It is a straight port, but yeah. wow. I never have to sit there and go, hey, you can't move over that. That's terrain. Right. No, it's there. Mm -hmm. And they, the graphics, the yeah, sound, sure. you also don't see the whole map, which I like. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, what's in that door? You open the door, you're like, oh my goodness. Right. And But the mm -hmm. Jaws of the Lion content got added in, and you can add it into a campaign. That you're already start in the Start using of. those characters. Mm. The scenarios, you can start going on those scenarios in the middle of the Gloomhaven scenarios. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's amazing. Huh. It's a great app. The music is really good. It plays well multiplayer. It's crashed a couple times. Mm. Um, but oh, it is It's fantastic. I, I, I like being able to pick the cards. I like when you move, it shows you where you can move on the board, you can, and if you, you have those items that like will add to the movement, and it will always have that there. Do you want to use this item? Oh, yeah, like, that's oh, nice. that's right, I have that item that to use, nice. which in a game. That's you know, so good. Yeah, that's the one thing apps can just excel at. Yes, 100%. Yeah, it is, and I'm really curious what this will be like on the, on the iPad when it comes out. Should work great, I would think. I, I right? really do, especially mm -hmm. the new iPads that have those better chips and things like that. Because you need a bit it's of M2 processing or power. Bust. That's right. you know what I mean. M2 That's or bust. Right. Bring so. back the Fox. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. We might, we might do this one live here at some point, just because I think it'll be a lot of fun to do. Be cool to show off. Um, let's see what the people chose. Though. I don't, think. Don't forget. Real quick before you, yeah. you guess on that. Don't forget, you can go and vote on upcoming top ten lists. Our mm -hmm. next one is on the website, right, or will be there soon, mm -hmm. and you can go vote on that. Before we show them, I'm guessing that there will only be two choices that are not represented on our list if you count Through the Ages, because I'm sure Through the Ages will be up there. Yes, it will be, I'm sure. Yeah, so I think maybe only two, two titles, I think, aren't going to be represented on one of our lists. I've, I'm, I've seen the list, and I'm trying oh, to remember. Okay. But, okay, well, let's find out. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Here's what you picked. Number 10, Gloomhaven. Mm -hmm. Nine, Race for the Galaxy. That's oh, one. Oh, that's one. Oh, and eight, Star oh, Realms. There you go. Yeah, Star Realms. Now, Race two. for the Galaxy, a lot of people were guessing it would be on our list. It's actually my number 11, and I dropped it because as much as I like it, it is the most dated feeling at this point. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I don't love the Race for the Galaxy. I, 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 it needs an update a lot. It does. It, I, I played that one on the computer <laughs> when I was in Korea, so it's like, I don't know, that many years ago. Yeah. I like it, but... Seven Raiders, right. six on Iron, which I, I was surprised about. I still about. have a chance at the top five. Number five, Scythe. Yes, I was right. Four Wingspan, three, Terraforming Mars, two, Root, and one. Tickets to ride. That's, That's surprising amazing. Me. That is some staying power that right is, there. That is, man, right? Wow. I actually figured Terraforming Mars would be one. Mm. A lot That's of people a very popular app. Would be one. Oh, would be number one. It I is. Think. I think a lot of people have complained that it's a little buggy, and it is a little buggy. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. I like it so much that it's. It doesn't. Yeah. That I. It would be higher, but it had those bugs drop it down a little sure. bit. Also, I, sure. I think we found a new way to brand Scythe. If you keep that five where the S is. For Sar. Yeah. For Sar. So when they Scythe, come out with the fifth edition. Yeah. Fifth like edition will look just <laughs> like <laughs> that. <laughs> Steak <Stake> Meyer. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. Okay, so uh, apps that we didn't put on, people mentioned Galaxy Trucker. I like a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you hate the game, but mm -hmm. I like that app. It's one of the first apps I saw, actually. Yeah, yeah. And I thought it did really well. Concordia, has anyone played that one? I haven't one? played Concordia. I haven't Concordia. played that one yet. I, I don't see like it when I'm shopping one. for apps, when yeah. I'm prepping what's happening. I do see it. I haven't pulled the trigger on that one yet. Small World? I don't like the game that much. The That's app a little is fine. Data old, too, but yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse makes the board game almost obsolete, right. but I still don't think the app itself is fantastic. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Lorenzo, I haven't played. Actually, I don't even know if I knew that had an app. Gonshan Clever, Clever, I played a ton Gunshan of. Gonshan Clever is not bad, yeah. I don't typically think of like roll and write still because they're always so easy to get to the mm -hmm. table. You know what I mean? You don't feel like you're really saving much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why, again, the Fox in the Forest for me is the, the stretchiest sort of right. pick. But oh, Tide nice. to Time is in my top 15. Mm. The Tide to Time, Tide to time app is good. It's yeah. so pretty. Yeah. The, yeah. Like the, the little connections they make with those colors. Yeah. I really like that one. Patchwork and all. I like. I've even played like um, Cottage Garden. They're fine, but I, again, those are ones I feel like I'd just rather play. I have not played the Blood Rage one. We played an early, early version. Is that, that was, out now, though? Yeah, and it was real buggy when I played it, but I'm sure they've done stuff. This was a long time ago. 
I don't think it was. It was easy. very buggy, and then I never went back. You're right. right. That's what it was. That is all. There's a lot of apps out there. There are. You know, some people mentioned Magic Gathering Arena. Uh, the reason I haven't played that is because I don't want to. I'm already invested in Hearthstone. Yeah. And I don't want to virtually buy cards. Sure. For another game, I'm mm -hmm. already doing a little bit of that in Hearthstone mm -hmm. and and Magic Gathering Arena. You can play that physically and keep Hearthstone yeah. as a video game. Yeah. I yeah. mentioned uh, Rolling Rights, but Cartographers is one that is I considered. I didn't put it on my list, but I considered. That's a really good Rolling Right. That one also would take you drawing. Yes. Like uh, railroading. Right. You don't and have if to. You mess don't want to have the... to do that. It's just going to be pretty. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. We might. Well, I should say we might. We probably will come back and take a look at this list every few years sure. because there's so many of these that come out. Yeah. And. It's going to explode even more, especially with the cost of yes. physical games going up. Right. And good, there are yeah. so many massive games out there. I don't understand everything behind development. Yeah. That would be a good thing tonight for me to get a couple people on the, on the channel to talk right. about that. Because I don't know as much about why it takes so long sometimes for some of these games to come out. What the problems are. Where's the expansion. What all goes into that. Right. That's interesting. So, yeah. yeah, I just don't know a lot about it. We just sit here and go, I wish there was one. Yeah. But I don't know what makes it happen. Well, I want it and I want it now. That's all I need to know. All right. Bring out the Fox. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> Thank you for those who thumbed us up. Thank you for those of you who are going to come back tomorrow morning. We have our um, live Q&A with me, Camilla, and Sharon, where we talk about Dice Tower East. If you have questions about that, it is very close. And uh, lots of other videos have gone up today. Indeed. And are going up tomorrow on the weekend. So, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Mike Delicio. Have fun playing on your iPad slash Android slash the, whatever the third device is. PCs. Steam. Flip phones. Mm.